Hi guys, let's try to visualize about electric potential. Suppose if I take a one a positive a nano coulomb charge. So we know that due to this positive charge, electric field exists all over the space. And we also know that to visualize the electric field, we used to draw electric field lines. So electric field lines represents the visualization of the electric field surround the charge. And if we can increase more charge, the electric field strength increases. So the, the arrow marks will represent about the electric field lines. So we were defining about electric potential. So electric potential we define as the work done. Suppose this is myself. So the work done to bring a test charge at a point within electric field. Suppose I am coming all the way from infinity to a location A within the electric field. The work done by me will be stored in the form of electric potential at this location. Since I need to do work against this positive charge, why because I am bringing a positive test charge. So since they both are positive, it will repel each other. Now we know how to calculate the potential allocation. The potential allocation equal to k q upon r. So here q is nothing but this source charge. So that is source charge. So this is the way to represent or calculate the electric potential. But I want to see the electric potential. So if we can with the help of any diagrammatical representation. So that makes us much more understanding about electric potential just like electric field lines. Now for that we will draw about the equipotential surface. What does it mean? Suppose I am bringing a positive charge from infinity from different locations. All are from infinity. So this is from infinity and this is also an. So in the 360 degrees, I am bringing a positive charge from infinity to a location. Suppose I am bringing from here to at here and the same distance from all the location. Now this location is at equal distance. Suppose if it can take a point A, B, C and D and E. So the distance between from here to here you can take equal everywhere is R itself only. And if the distance is R, so the potential value at this location is equal. Why? Because we used to represent the same potential formula. It's a K Q upon R. So R value is same around all these charges. So the potential at this all locations will be same. Suppose if I draw a circle of radius r suppose if I draw a circle of radius r around this if I wish if I draw a circle of radius r from the source charge let it a circle not perfect circle just imagine it's a circle now this is of radius r now if you can take the potential at in this location you can take any point on the circle of radius r 
द पोटेंशियल वैल्यू इज रिमेन सेम बिकॉज ऑल दिस पॉइंट आर इक्वल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द सोर्स चार्ज सो एवरीथिंग इज इक्वल डिस्टेंस वी विल रिप्रेजेंट विथ द सेम फॉर्मूला पोटेंशियल इज इक्वल टू के क्यू अपॉन बाई आर now if i change the location instead of that location if i draw a circle of radius at here one more circle of radius so let it circle of radius now this is at a distance of at a distance of you can take any point let take capital r now if i find the potential in this location if i find the potential in the circle itself only from infinity so on the circle so every point is equally distance from the r so the distance from here to here is also r so the distance from any point is also equal to r now the potential at here so we will represent that potential at v equal to k q upon capital r so if you can take any point within this location on the circle so the potential value remains constant okay so if you can take that as that as knowledge so here we can draw some visualization of the potential so here i am having a potential meter so this potential meter if you can keep any at any point so that location tells about what is the potential value so here the potential value here represents as an 7.177 volt there is the potential difference from infinity to at the location suppose if we can change this potential meter which is close to a pulse to charge now the potential value here you can see the potential value here it is 33.01 volt now the potential value increase why because it, the distance is decreases potential is inversely proportional to r when the distance is increases the potential value increases or vice versa if the distance is increases the potential value decreases suppose if we can take this to far away so if we can take that as an far away now here you can see the potential value here it is 2.237 volt that is when r increases the potential value decreases because potential is inversely proportional to r so here the r is the location is the distance from the source charge to the point which have selected now with the help of the potential meter so here i am itself having an option in this at here now if i draw at here now we can see one small circle so this represents the work done to bring a charge from in this point from the all the 360 degrees now this circle is having a radius of r so now the potential in this location is remains same suppose if we can change from another location if we can draw a circle further now here you can see on the circle the potential on this circle it remains same like that if you can draw at any location of that ones now we will get a concentric circles so this concentric circles we will get for the positive charge now if you can draw for a far away so here if you can draw the potential so you can get a very big concentric circle so depends upon the location so we can get the concentric circles now these concentric circles we will call as 
इक्विपोटेंशियल सरफेसेस इक्विपोटेंशियल सरफेसेस सो इक्विपोटेंशियल सरफेस इज विजुअलाइजेशन ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक पोटेंशियल अराउंड ए चार्ज सो व्हाट इज मीनिंग ऑफ इक्विपोटेंशियल सरफेस सो द पोटेंशियल ऑन दिस सरफेस सिंस हियर यू आर वाचिंग अराउंड द टू डायमेंशंस सो बट यू जस्ट इमेजिन in the three dimensions so let me take to that as a three dimension now if i can take that as a three dimensions so i can give you as an best visualizations with the help of this bubbles now within the bubble if i can take at inside a positive charge so let me take this as an positive charge positive charge q now within the radius of the r now we are getting a, a three dimensional surface or you can take as an outside so this is an outside surface bubble in bubble bubble in bubble like that now the outside surface that will be cover entire the charge so it will cover just like as a balloon entire the charge now this surface we define as an equipotential surface so this equipotential surface is looks like as a concentric spheres concentric spheres now if we can change the distance r so the equipotential surface will becomes changes or i can give as a best another analogy with the help of this onion suppose at the center of this onion if you can take as a positive charge now if you can draw a radius of r now here you can get the onion inside layer so this you can just imagine as a equipotential surface of the charge now if you can take the outside at a distance if you can take another so the potential on this surface now the potential on this surface anyway so that potential will remains constant now we can represent that as a equipotential surface now here i can define we can define very clearly what is the potential difference potential difference suppose if you can take this equipotential surface at the different locations so let me take at here a positive charge so let it as a positive charge now this is at a distance of let me take i will take a number so this is number 2 which is a 2 cm so at point p point p now if i draw a concentric circle at here now with the help of that if you can draw a concentric circle so that concentric circles will be on this ones so on the circle if you are doing a work to bring a charge at this location from this location and from this location and any location to on that the work we did is remains the same so the potential on the circle anyway remains the same so that's why we term this surfaces just that we have to imagine just a three dimension as a equipotential surfaces now suppose if i take uh, another location which is close to at here so this is another location so this is at a distance of let me take as 1 cm now if we draw a concentric circle at here since it is as a positive charge we have to draw equipotential surface just like as in a concentric circle now at 1 cm let me take the potential at q now if you are moving a charge from p to q if you are moving a charge from p to q so that we can represent as in terms of potential difference 
potential at Q minus potential at P. It's just difference. So this we term as potential difference. Okay. Now otherwise, if you want to move a charge at P on the same point within the circuit, on the circuit. Now here you can take let this point if you can take as potential at K on the onion ring and now the potential from this location K and the potential at location P they both are same because they both are at the same distance from the source charge. Not only that if you can take any point that's why these locations are called as equipotential. Potential remains the same. Potential remains the same in that concentric circle. So, if you take any location, if you take any location within the circle now the potential value remains the same so that's why these are known as equipotential surface but if you are moving from one potential surface to another potential surface then there will be potential difference exist when you are moving from one point to another point then only the potential difference exists here you need to remember one more point here you can see the electric field lines are perpendicular to equipotential surface that is a very 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 important point at this concept as a combined visualization of the electric field and potential so the electric field lines always perpendicular to the equipotential surface so for this positive charge configuration the equipotential surface uh, represents just like as in a concentric circles. Suppose if we can change the charge to as a negative charge. So let me take it out of the positive charge. So now in this charge also if we can draw equipotential surface. Now here the equipotential surface is, repre is representing as negative value. Why it is representing negative value? It is negative 4.452 volt. Why? Because potential formula here it is K Q upon by R. Here the Q value is negative. We have to take negative charge. Now if you draw by using this equipotential, so you can draw any location. The potential value on the circle is remains same. So for the positive charge or negative charge, this equipotential surface looks like they are the concentric circles. Not looks like, so they are the concentric circles. Now suppose if we can take out, let me take as in two oppositely charges. One is positive, one is negative. So this is the electric field length pattern. So this is we already know the familiar to us so that is electric field and patterns now if we can take the potential meter at here and we know that so the potential value on the left side of the positive charge it is positive because it is potential due to only the positive charge now at here if we can draw equipotential surface so that looks like that and on the right side if we can draw here you can see the potential value is negative because so on this right side so the potential is dominated by the negative charge so the potential value at here is negative suppose if i draw that is the equipotential surface suppose if i move along the same line you can notice there is a change in potential now because it is decreasing the distance when i close to the negative charge so the potential value is increases because R value decreases. Now when I move further like that, 
now here you can see now the potential value started to decrease now here it is value is becoming as you know further decreasing now i would like to catch a location exactly zero potential so that is very hard to find but here you can notice that here it is a negative 6.29 and if you can catch a perfect point so this is the at most perfect which i can able to hold right now so that is o point o point 1.195 Suppose if I draw at there the equipotential. So if it is a zero potential, so if we can draw the equipotential, so there you can see. Now that is not a circle, but even though it's a circle, but the circle will finish at the infinity. Now if you can. Draw a location which is next to as that, very close to that. One more line. Now it becomes positive. Now like that, if you can take again very close to the positive charge, now the potential values goes on increases. Now if you can draw the electric field line patterns for the positive charge and the negative charge. So they are the concentric circles at any location but we have to draw carefully at zero potential at the zero potential we can take that the equipotential line it may appear to close at the infinity so this is the another charge pattern that's why it looks different anyway so the charge potential represents just like constant circles suppose if we can take both positive charges so how the equipotential surface just looks like if it is both positive charges they are at the same location so let me draw the equipotential surface at the middle first so it close to as an where the potential dominates towards that charge it will be closest now here you can see its potential surfaces are combining now if you can draw further far away now the potential surface are combining together so this is somewhat how it looks like the equipotential surfaces if the charges are the both positive and negative sorry both of the positive charges you can draw this equipotential surface to any configuration suppose if you can take a three charges it is little tedious to draw equipotential surface more than the configurations but we, we will stick up to draw the equipotential surface for the two charge configurations that's enough for our knowledge so this equipotent surface will be more complicated if the charge configurations are the positive and the negative and all why because they are the different charges and the potential is a scalar so we need to add those all the potentials so depends upon the location how the charges will be interact with the nearby the charges so the equipotential surface or forms in the different shapes so this tells us that the equipotential surface forms a closed loops so this is the how they forms if we can draw more com complex charge configuration so that much complex figures we can get it so but we can stick up with the certain configurations only so in that certain configurations we can take that as an example suppose if you take equipotent surface for a depends upon the electric field 
so this equipotential surface is always so i hope this is can visible to you all suppose at here the electric field is in this direction so this is the direction of the electric field so it is going from the take as an west to east now if this is an electric field is moving along the that is uniform electric field from the west to east so it is the west to east so what is the direction of the equipotential suppose if you can take this is a book now the equipotential surface is a uh, just represents like a a surface which is a perpendicular to the electric field so here if you can notice so here a straight lines which are the perpendicular to the equi to the electric field line so these all will be represents as a one dimension the equipotential surface it's a surface so on the surface the potential value is remains constant so this is a one of the configurations we need to understand for the uniform electric field and this is for as an a positive charge a positive charge so this electric field and the equipotential surface they are the perpendicular and here the equipotential surface are the concentric circles and one more configurations we need to get that is for the both positive and the negative charge so in this case the equipotential surface also as a concentric circles for an electric dipole but where the potential goes to zero where the potential goes to zero so there we can get an equipotential just a straight line it not forms as a no, concentric circle and it forms just like a straight line and the rest of the locations we can draw a concentric circle regarding the regarding on the configuration of the charges so this is how we represent the potential electric potential in the form of equipotential surface according to definition equipotential surface is a surface where the potential on the surface remains constant so that gives us a better understanding if we can imagine just like this balloon so on this liquid on this bubble just the bubble outer surface is a part of the equipotential surface 